Today we're covering Kira Renee, also known as OK Baby. In my opinion, she made some horrible, disgusting claims on Instagram Live. We gotta talk about this today. I'm sure most of you know this, but Kira has an Instagram subscription viewers can pay for extra content over on Instagram. She charges $4.99 per month. I believe she goes live every Wednesday. She does like a wine Wednesday and she has like a theme every week. This week's theme, I have to tell you what the theme is. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab the screenshot. I don't know if I can pronounce this right because is this even a word? I don't know. <laughs> we all know Kira dropped out of high school. She says that all the time. She jokes about it. This week's category for the sub live is wine and charcuterie, aka charcuterie. Coochery? What? <laughs> what? I think she's trying to say coochie. So go get your goods and get ready, baby. I'm laughing right now because I don't know. I feel like I'm reading a college flyer that's being passed around campus. <laughs> this just isn't my style. If I was doing an Instagram live, I would never insert the word coochie into any part of it. But hey. That's just me. This is Kira's vibe right now. Everything, almost everything she puts out on social media is sexual in some way, shape, or form. It's either sexual or it's something about her kids, complaining about her kids, making food for her kids, something like that. It's summer and a lot of mom content creators are freaking out and they're complaining about having their kids all day. I know, right? You have kids and you complain about having them all day. Then I have like so much preparing for the week to do on Monday, but we the week's already started. So I need to take out all those groceries. I need to shower. I need to do laundry because they're asking for a snack. She no longer gives a shit about me making her a fish. So I'm just like, hmm. okay, and all my plants died. All my plants died. Kira typically discusses a lot of different things in these Instagram lives. I think she has maybe like a topic she wants to talk about, but then she also will answer questions from viewers throughout the live. I believe this Instagram live was filmed at the end of May. Kira said some horrible things, disgusting things in my opinion. So let me give a trigger warning. We're about to talk about... If this is a topic that you're not interested in hearing anything about, please click out right now and I'll catch you in the next video. I believe during this live, she was talking about like a summer bucket list, some things she wanted to do with her kids over the summer. And I think someone suggested the zoo. The zoo, that's another one I really wanna take them to. Some things it's just really hard because I'm scared to take them by myself and I'm not afraid of tantrums because I'm not afraid to beat my kids ass in public at all. If they throw a tantrum, no, thank you, ma'am. I can't believe she said this. I can't believe she beats her children. She didn't go into detail, so I don't know exactly what she means by beating, but beating and spanking are two different things in my opinion. Not only is she admitting this, but she's using this information as content. And she's almost flexing over the fact that she will beat her kids in public and she doesn't care what anybody thinks about it. It's almost like a, yeah, I'll do that. Who cares? Oh my gosh, these poor kids. These poor kids. Saying you beat your kids in public is not a flex. It's not something you should be bragging about. But... What I get scared of is like losing a kid, like not being able to keep my eyes on all of them, having one of them run off, like that scares me. And it is annoying when they throw a fit in public, but that's not necessarily my biggest fear. I pulled this from Reddit. Kira has a thread over there. They had a lot to say about her Instagram live. One user said, this is 100% abuse. If I saw her beat her children, there would be a 911 call being made. Obviously, she's doing what her mother probably did to her. And she's projecting this onto her kids. Hopefully, Oscar can bring balance to their upbringing with kindness and love. I wish Oscar's mom would move to Utah. She's great with the kids. They need more love and compassion. Do you think Oscar also does this, but just doesn't talk about it publicly like Kira does? Kira seems to have diarrhea mouth everything and anything just comes out of her mouth i don't think she thinks about what she says before she says it 
do you think Oscar's on board with this? There's no way he doesn't know about this. She just said it publicly. So I'm sure Oscar is aware of this. And this is not something that a parent would just sweep under the rug. If I'm co-parenting with someone and they are beating my children and I don't approve of that, there's no way in hell I would let that go down. So I am assuming here, this is just an assumption that Oscar is aware of it and that he's probably okay with it. If I knew my ex who has 50-50 custody of my children was beating my children and I wasn't okay with that, there's no way I would stand for that. I would take them to court. I would do something about it. Kira beats her children in public. She doesn't hide this. So I don't think it's hidden within the family either. A user on Reddit said she's definitely using the wrong words for this, I think. I'm sure she doesn't beat them, but punishes them. She should have known better than to say that. Honestly, I hope this is true. I hope she doesn't beat her kids. But when you say you beat your kids, are we supposed to think you don't beat your kids? A user on Reddit said, I know. She did use the word beat. There's a difference between a spanking and a beating. I don't agree with either. Whether it's true or not... That's her own words. She's constantly complaining about the kids, how frustrated she is, always drinking wine, and it's clear her mental health is spiraling. She seems erratic, and that's my concern for the kids. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors, and there's a lot of red flags. Another user on Reddit said, No one was defending her calm down friend. She's being dramatic, and most people use the same wording when their kids are acting out. I do not agree with that. I do not think most people say I beat my kids when their kids are acting out. I'm a parent. I have never said those words because those words are not true. So why would I say that? A user on Reddit said, anyone who's up to her, please ask her about that. I'm not afraid to beat my kids ass in public comment. I need to know what her response is going to be. Another post on here was talking about that is so beyond effed up. And if she was joking, she needs to realize that is not something you make light of, especially since she used to talk about wanting to open a daycare. No one would send their kids to a woman who hits their kids. She is so beyond stupid, it's irritating. Sometimes Kira plays into the, oh, I'm a little dumb because I didn't graduate high school. I can't spell. Like she plays into that a lot. So I could definitely hear her response now. It would be something like, oh, I was just joking. I didn't mean beat. I meant punish. But you can't get on social media and say you beat your kids if you don't beat your kids. Why would you even say that? You have to think before you speak. Kira is just messy. Kira talks about opening a daycare, and I agree with the user from Reddit. Does she really think people are going to bring their kids to her daycare when she openly admitted to beating her kids? Not only beating her kids, but beating them in public. She doesn't care if anybody watches or sees what she's doing. If a parent heard an owner of a daycare say that, there's no way they would take their kids there. There's absolutely no way. Friday I went to bed at like 5 in the morning, Saturday I went to bed at 5 in the morning, and then last night, well yesterday I drove back from San Diego, we left at noon, and we didn't get home until 5 o'clock this morning, and then I had to get the kids ready, we'll get them from Oscars, get them ready, take them to school, and I'm losing my mind, (laughs) just in like a delusional, I'm so tired, my stomach hurts, my head hurts, I haven't eaten in three days, like it's not going well over here. Hitting? children has actually never been okay since we as adults couldn't just say i hit my child because i don't really know any other way to get them to listen or to do what i want them to do we had to find ways to justify hitting them it's easier to say they just don't listen than to say i don't know how to speak to them in a way that they will listen it's easier to say they just don't understand than to say, I don't know how to talk to them in a way to help them understand. Stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about. That's sort of threatening, mom. I know, but my parents always said it to me, so now I just repeat it when I get overwhelmed and don't know how to actually talk you through your feelings. I mean, your parents did a lot of things that weren't actually good ideas, like hitting you when you were bad. Well, that's how I learned respect. Hitting children doesn't teach them respect. It teaches them that violence and abuse are normal parts of relationships. Kira recently made this post on Instagram and immediately turned off the comments. She said, 
It's summertime and I'm overwhelmed. Keep in mind, Kira wants two more kids, okay? She's already said she wants to have two more kids with Preston. On a serious note, though, I'm happy and thriving this way somehow. Summer is such a wonderfully horrible time of year, and I'm trying my best to make new, extremely awesome memories every day, all while keeping myself sane and financially stable. If you're so overwhelmed in life and you have to beat your kids to get them to do what you want them to do. I just don't understand why you would want to add more kids to your household. I cannot make that make sense. We're at the end of this video and I had to bless you with this picture today. <laughs> but let me know what you think about everything. Do you think Kira was trolling on Instagram? Do you think she just used the wrong words to describe how she punishes her kids? Do you think Oscar's aware of this situation? I do not think she was trolling on that Instagram live. I think she was drinking wine and talking crap and telling the truth. That's what I think. Who in their right mind would even say they beat their kids? Even if you beat your kids, why would you say that on social media? And just imagine if that's what she says she does on social media, imagine what happens behind the scenes. I wish the best for those kids. I know they've gone through so much recently. I just hope they're doing well. Yeah, I just wish the best for those kids. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching today. See you next time.